Happy Thursday. So it seems that like those that occupy the White House um, and people that support those that occupy the White House and you know I don't want to paint a blanket statement but many Republicans um, and that, that money and obedience is the governing policy of the United States. A corporate entity is making it mandatory for their employees to stand at the national anthem. Mandatory. You will be fined if you don't, because it's disrespecting I, I, what? The corporation? Because if it's disrespecting the flag or the United States, they need a lesson in civics because the flag of the United States is a symbol for the freedom to choose. The, the men and women that fought for the principles that stand for that flag ultimately fought for freedom. Whether they signed up for that or not, that is what it is a symbol of, not a symbol of obedience. I, I just, it, um, I, I, get, I am grateful that you begin to see the forest for the trees. Like, okay, yeah, we are beginning to live, not beginning, we are living in an oligarchy. Money is what governs. It's not new news. It just bec it's becoming more and more clear. If you've got the money, you can corrupt. If you've got the money, then you can say and do what you want. So, are people going to boycott the NFL? That's probably what they should do. The millions of people, the millions of fans across the nation that subscribe to the NFL Network, stop watching. Stop watching the games every day or every weekend that they're on. And maybe they'll change because they're not valuing the ideals of America. They are telling, they are saying, we govern and you do. And it's a corporate entity. Screw them. This competition, what you uh, idolize, I, I, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting time. It's an interesting time. And, uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick is the hero here, by far. That guy has sacrificed his welfare and his well-being and his family, his career, for true ideology, for freedom. I mean, that guy, wow, amazing. Much love.